Hey everybody, welcome to day three of the Golden Goblet. By far, uh, my best chance as we head to interchange uh, with a shotgun. I can actually leave this map and we're playing as Henrik Sedin's dad. So I think that today, if, the, if we're going to make our move, today is a big one. Today is a big one. Now I know, uh, I believe, Malf won day one. He may have also won day two. Kudos. I'm not, and uh, again, I'm not trying to undersell myself. I mean, have you seen the videos? <laughs> um, I'm not playing to win. I'm playing to entertain. And if the route through, or if the route to entertainment goes through winning, then that's great. Um, but if, I, I mean, I'm invested in today's. Even though we have a shotgun... Um, shotguns can be pretty deadly in, in Tarkov. I probably should get an interchange map up while we're loading here. Um, but I do know where to exfil on interchange. Let me, interchange Tarkov 2019. We should have a chance today. Interchange map. The map is in Russian. Let's find a different map. Perhaps one in... I'm not saying everything has to be in English. I'm just saying I need something to be in, in English if I'm to understand it. Uh, so there is an exfil in the northwest corner of the map. There is an exfil in the southeast corner of the map. One is called Railway. The other is called Emercom. Okay. My game plan is very simple. We walk in. I do not enter the mall. I just pretend that it's Black Friday. And if I enter the mall, um, then, you know, we're going to get trampled. Somebody's going to want a new air fryer. It's been marked down 13 cents. I got to have it. I will step on a throat to get that Instant Pot Mini. It's 99% on, 1% off. They don't make deals like that anymore. I respect Tarkov. It really helps me keep my banter skills fresh as I sit at the... Uh, matching screen of one of 2020's most popular games for one of the six maps as I wait for them to gather the necessary people to play with me I'm ready maybe you see other people are scared I see people it, it's I don't want to say it's embarrassing but it, I would be embarrassed if you took a video of the average Twitch streamer when they have uh, gear on that's worth like five rubles in game, their hands are shaking like a leaf. They're going, I don't know, guys. I don't want to go. Everybody is going out there. They're trying to get one milk jug and then exfil. It's embarrassing. I, on the other hand, it's like I said in Forza, the sane man knows the man to be most afraid of. It's the man with nothing to lose. Except for maybe part of his workday and part of his audience as he sits here at the idle screen for four minutes. Matching. Oh, dude, we got the matching bug. <laughs> I'll always respect my man for layering, okay? But... Can I run something by you? Obviously, the vest has got to go on top. But if you're going to wear a cable knit sweater, your, your next layer has to be long enough that your cable knit sweater doesn't show at the hem. It's just a weird look. You look like a, like a dinosaur. You, don't, you can have some clothes show at the hem, but not like this. I think, to be honest, I believe you need a longer uh, zip up. I think that's your problem. I think you got a large sweater and a medium zip up. 
and you look like a fool. You look like a fool now. Also, the gloves with the sweater combo, in my opinion, a little bit too much corduroy. But I got to respect the pop collar. And I, I also respect the man who does up the clasps. You might think it's uncool to do up the clasps. I'm here to tell you, having chronic back pain because you didn't carry your backpack right in high school when you were 16 years old, just about the least uncool, or sorry, the least cool thing I could think of. When you're 45 years old, you got scoliosis. People are going to be like, man, I bet he looked real cool carrying his backpack on one shoulder. What do you think? You think we go until seven and a half minutes here? I want to be clear. I support my Golden Goblet teammates and uh, friends and colleagues. This, this game was not my suggestion as we sit at the cue screen. If you're wondering when's the video going to start, please direct your complaints elsewhere. Check it out. I've got a coffee mug here, but the seal's not on properly. This seems as good a time as any to uh, make sure the seal is on. Wouldn't want any coffee to leak out tomorrow. There you go. It's not like I'm doing anything else right now. The highest octane first person shooter of the modern generation. Non stop blood pumping action. Let's try again, shall we? Maybe there's nobody else playing Tarkov right now. What do you mean there's 450 streamers on Twitch? Okay, now I'm just... I'm making jokes at the game's expense and I apologize. Please put me on interchange. I like Tarkov. I just wish to play you. I just want to play. I gave you my $40. We should just do offline raids. I didn't think about that. <laughs> I can hear the crickets in the map. Surely in mere moments I should be placed into the game's framework. Instanced inside of their gooey decimal system. Matching. So how are you guys doing? That's good. I'm glad to hear it. Yeah, I mean, it wasn't like my first choice, but you got to compromise, you know? I don't respect somebody who, who refuses to compromise. And I'm, I'm a very good compromiser. And that's, that's sincere. Do I have impatience sometimes? Yes. But I, I recognize... I would rather get my way 49% of the time than get my way 51% of the time. It's true. It's the honest to goodness truth. In fact, I might, I might rather get my way 25% of the time than get my way 60% of the time. I don't know. Words to live by. So here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to go uh, into the Discord here and be like, Hey guys, is Tarkov working tonight? I've been at the Q screen for 11 minutes. Sometimes you got to exaggerate a little bit. Let's see if we get a response. <laughs> what else we got going on in the room here? Glad you asked. Um, it's two kilograms of Kraft smooth peanut butter. Useful in a pinch. Um... You know, very calorically dense. You got to be careful. 90 calories per tablespoon. It's less than I thought, honestly. But, uh, you know, those can rack up pretty quick. But you're having a long recording day. You don't really have time to have a real meal. Just put four tablespoons of peanut butter in your gullet. Try not to choke. It'll keep you going. What else we got here? Um, it's a great question. I mean, I'll tell you, I went to Canadian Tire like four months ago. 
Oh, no, wait. These aren't from Canadian Tire. These are from... Uh, Kate and I went to a Canucks game at the end of December. I'm just showing off miscellaneous stuff on my desk. At this point. Um, they gave us upper deck hockey cards. And it was great because they're all Canucks. See that one? That's Elias Pettersson. Last year's Calder Trophy winner. It's Alex Edler. He's one of the longest tenured players on the Canucks. An assistant captain. It's Quinn Hughes. Um, one of the top rookies in the league this year. Definitely a candidate to win the Calder Trophy. And uh, played in the All-Star Game in St. Louis two weeks ago. Speaking of which, there's Jacob Markstrom. He's in a contract year right now. Also went to the All-Star Game. Doing a lot of, a lot of good work for the Canucks in, in net between the pipes this year, as they say. Bo Horvat, Captain Bo Horvat, a little bit of a slow start, took him a while to score some goals at home, but uh, on pace for the best point total of his career, of course, Brock Besser, got to rep my, uh, I was going to say good friend, but we've never met, I respect him though, Brock Besser, an integral part of the lotto line, consisting of uh, Brock Besser, Elias Pettersson, and JT Miller. You might ask, why is it called the lotto line? Well, because uh, their numbers are 6, 40, and 9. And that's the, that's the name of the most major um, lottery, perhaps in Canada. Definitely in Ontario, which is not where we play. But that's okay. I'm excited. We have almost synchronized with other players. The video can begin at any moment. But in the meantime, what else we got? Hey, if you watch a lot of Tetris, you might uh, you might remember this. Remember? It's a bunch of almonds. I was reading the almond facts. They're all gone. But check this out. I got more of them. I'm not happy, though, because when I got these ones, I bit into the one. There's how many? 750 grams. Bit into the first uh, almond. It was soft. So you know the rest are going to be similar. So, we need to not be in this mall. <laughs> we need to ex-fill the Mall of America. And then following that, perhaps we get... Wouldn't it be great comedy if either I just got shot in two seconds or just walked out with whatever we already had? What the heck? Xenomorph? I think I've just looted an alien. Brother, I'm here to tell you. I think I should just walk out of this level. I've got a thermos full of high profile alien DNA. <laughs> Oh, you're not a person. You're a mirror. That's Power Station. Everybody say hello to Power Station. So both... There's two X-Fills that are very close right now. I hear some shots. I hope you've enjoyed this little journey we've taken together today. Hear a lot of popcorn being made in there. Must be a movie theater. Don't shoot me. I gotta I gotta take a look. What is this? Xenomorph ceiling foam. I don't believe that that's actually good. But I want to believe. Can I show you a little secret here? I hope it's still in the game. It's been a while. It's called John Cena's Gym Bag. A lot of people don't know about it. It contains many, many useful materials. Endorsed by the man himself. Various fruit juices. And other supplemental mats. There it is. They left it in! John Cena's gym bag. It's got an AC adapter. 
Some Russian chocolates and a, an MRE. God bless you, sir. Goodbye. They saw me. They saw me go into John Cena's gym location. I saw him. He threw a grenade at me. Goodbye. Nope. Cardboard box, baby. Flash the light for Morse code for SOS. <laughs> no. I'm dead. Well, that's day three of the Golden Goblet. Hope you guys have enjoyed yourselves as much as I did. If you did, click the like button. Helps out a great deal. Of course, uh, check out Malf and Daniel's perspectives. I'm sure they'll be much more interesting. And uh, thanks for watching. I'll see you next time. See ya.